Hello everybody, we're here for round one of the Modern Daily with Amulet Combo. <clears throat> and we won the die roll, so of course we would like to go first with our combo deck. And, huh. Let's see. So we can Stirrings on one and hope to find an Amulet or a Bounce Land. So we can find an Amulet and a Bounce Land, then we can kill on two with hive mind. So we do have a stirrings and a summer bloom and a hive mind with two packs. Oh, I kind of want to mulligan this hand, but I think we can also just try and win. Hmm. I think I'm going to keep this one. Without the Ancient Stirrings, this would be a Snap Mulligan. It's also a good chance that this should just be a Mulligan, but we're going to go ahead and keep. And let's Stirrings and see what we can find here. So we do have our Bounce Land. Doesn't produce blue though to be able to cast Hive Mind. And hopefully we can draw an amulet next turn. Even even with an amulet next turn, we can still uh, pack for a Titan and just Titan him. The thought sees here would actually be pretty bad for us. He could take our Summer Bloom. Delta. So he's probably on a Grixis deck, Grixis Delver, some type of Grixis control deck. Steam Vents is probably going to Serum Visions. Nope, Delver. Alright. Amulet or Serum Visions would be fine draw here too. He's going to probe. It's interesting that he probed after he cast Delver. Although, I don't think it's really relevant since I have a gemstone mine. I'm sure he knows what I'm, pl what, knows what I'm playing off the bat. These Delver decks can be pretty rough. If they have the right draw. Alright, well, we drew a Vesuva. So let's. Alright, well, I can. Gruel Turf back the Gemstone Mine. And the next turn I can play a Summer Bloom, which will let me play Gemstone Mine, Vesuva the Gruel Bur Turf back the Gemstone Mine, and then replay the Gemstone Mine. So I think that I'm fine with that. So we're just kind of on a slow dredge plan here since we didn't really draw anything relevant. An untapped land there would have been very good. And then we just Summer Bloom and ramp then, but now we got to wait a turn. So he can. Manalik or Remand our Summer Bloom if he has it. Let's see here, is he revealing anything? He does. Reveals the Serum Visions. At least it's not a counter spell. It's fine with me. If he doesn't Visions here, then that means he has a counter spell. Alright, so he probably has a Remand or a Manalik here. I think I still just want to play the Summer Bloom and force him to use his card. I guess we just have to hope that it's Remand and not Mana Leak. So if this is a Remand, then it's not the worst thing in the world. And then we can just replay the Summer Bloom next turn. We're still at 17, so we're still at a pretty healthy life total. Maybe he'll just let this resolve. Okay, it was Mana Leak. Well, we cannot pay, pay three for the Mana Leak. Right, we'll just play Teleria West. And hopefully we can draw something like an Asusa would be okay. I guess I can just... Uh, Packed for an Asusa next turn, which wouldn't be the worst. I 
once he gets to to mana leak or snap mana leak mana, it's kind of rough. Serum Visions. I think he should have fetched first. I like fetching before I Serum Visions because now if he keeps a card on top with the scribe it needs two mana, he's going to lose the card. Alright, well he bought them both so I guess it's irrelevant. But now he has to shuffle those two cards back into his deck. Yeah, drawing the Vesuvon too instead of untapped land was kind of gross. But what are you going to do? Another probe. All right, man. I just got a bunch of lands. Not much else. Ancient stirrings. Okay, so what does that do? So we can. Asusa is not not all that great because he can respond to the to the come into play trigger from the land so it'll stop me from getting a land also if he has another count like a remand or something then he just like lets my pact resolve but remands the Asusa we're in tough shape so I think that I just want an ancient stirrings here and hope to hit an amulet think that's right Alright, we did not. So we just got another bounce land. So we can just play another bounce land and bounce the, bounce the Teleria West back to our hand. And... Yeah, at this point we're just going to try and hope that uh, we could force this hive mind through once we have six mana. So we can hive mind and then pact of negation to resolve it and then summoner's pact to kill him. So we basically have two turns to make that happen. Ooh, he is Grixis though, so he, he could have removal spells. Thought scoured himself, got rid of a bolt. see here. I guess next turn I could, if I draw an untapped land to play the following turn, I could just like gemstone mine transmute to area west so that we have another pact, which might be enough. I don't think you can do 14 to us and I'll have this turn, I'll play a land, I'll have another turn, and then I'll try and kill him. So I guess we'll have to do 14 in two turns, this turn and the next. <clears throat> I guess it's possible. Bolt's not bolt does a lot of damage. <laughs> My amulets are vulnerable against this deck anyway since they have call against command. Pyromancer. Serum Visions. Okay, so it's not a bolt. Three, four, five, six. So I guess if he has... If he has Bolt, Snap Bolt next turn with the land, he can kill me if I don't do anything. Alright, so he bottomed both. Oh, Radiant Fountain. That's perfect land. So I don't even think that we have to transmute this Teleria West now. I think that I can just gain, gain two life, which makes it so I don't die to Bolt, Snap Bolt. Problem is then if he has a thought seize, we're kind of vulnerable. However, if he had a thought seize, I'm pretty sure that he would have just fetched that turn and then thought seized me. So the options here is I can play Gemstone Mine, Transmute Teleria West, and get another pact. Or I can just play Radiant Fountain and gain some life. Three, four, five, six. So, what if he goes? If 
he bolts here puts me at eight seven puts me at one yeah so if I play radiant fountain I'm dead to bolt bolt snap bolt don't think that's very likely I think it's more likely that he finds a discard spell next turn So he just has to have Bolt and Snapcaster, which I think I'd rather just transmute this to Larry West. So here I just get another Pact of Negation, although if I get Pact of Negation, he can. I think I just get a slaughter pact here. Well, if I get pact of negation, then he can. Thought sees me and take my summoner's pact, and then we're in a rough spot. I think I just get pact of negation. Don't cast a spell, just put it into play tapped. Bolt here would be bad news. Okay. He did put it into play tapped. That's good news for us. So as long as he doesn't have bolt, snap bolt here. I guess Thought Seize is still pretty bad since he can take our summoners back. Oh, hopefully he just has nothing. <laughs> I imagine if he had bolt snap, he would just do it and kill me. Grixis Delver. I think that like my creature plan post board is pretty good against this deck. Thrag Tusks. Seems like this deck is gonna have a hard time being something like Hornet Queen. <laughs> Oh, we drew another summoner's pack. Perfect. And we have two pack negations to force our hive mind through. So this should be game. We'll see what he's got. I love killing people with Hive Mind. I played Hive Mind a lot back during the mental misstep. No rug days in Legacy, the Hive Mind combo. I'll show and tell Hive Mind. Show and tell would be a sweet card if it was legal and modern. I think it'd be it would definitely be overpowered, but I think it would be a sweet card. Alright, well we're going to Summoner's Pact. Hold priority with the trigger on the stack. And then Pact of Negation, our own Summoner's Pact. So he's going to get a couple triggers.
and this should be game. I think he's just, I don't know if he's unaware with how it works or if he's just figuring it out. All right, so his Pact of Negation is going to counter my Summoner's Pact. Yeah, not really sure what's taking so long. I guess he could be double queuing. Alright, so he countered my summoner's pact. And now he gets a summoner's pact. Feel free to search your library, bro. Let's see what you got. going to Snapcaster Mage. He's targeting Mana Leak. Well, this is not going to work out how he wants. I mean, he's dead to the to the to my Pact of Negation, but I'm going to get to Mana Leak. You have to let your trigger resolve. And then try and mana leak, but I'm gonna get a trigger. And I'll target his mana leak with the copy of mana leak. So he has two pack triggers on his upkeep. And that should be game. Alright, so how do we want to sideboard against Grixis Delver? So I think that Chalice of the Void is likely good against him. I think that we can cut the Hive Mines because he's likely going to have discard and permission to break it up and they're just like dead cards so I kind of want like chalice hornet queen thrag tusk thrag tusk thrag tusk I don't think that I want Sigarda. I might want these pyroplasms so I think that we can cut the hive mines I'm going to cut the manamorphos I think that we can cut pact of negation and probably slaughter pact one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's seven there. I just want to swap these seven. It's probably fine. Chalice on one is awkward because it like cuts off these cards for me, but it also just cuts off a lot of cards for him, which I think I'm probably fine with. I have like bolt, all the discard. Maybe I want ley lines to fight the discard. Huh. I actually haven't played against Gr Grixis Delver very much. I, I think I want to keep all of my lands against him. I might be able to I might be able to cut a mana confluence, but I think that I just want to keep it. You can cast these pyroclasms. Yeah, I think the chalice is good enough. And cut all these cards. Just bring in the Thrag Tusk, the Hornet Queen, the Chalice, the two Pyroclasms. I kind of want to bring in this Sigarda too. I feel like he's going to have a hard time killing Sigarda. Maybe I cut an Ancient Stirrings for a Sigarda. Maybe a Serum Visions? No, maybe an Asusa? No, I want her to be able to ramp. Uh, we'll just go like this. Let's see what happens. Alright, well, we're on the draw. 
and <clears throat> I think that this hand is fine. We have Ancient Strains and Serum Visions to find us some stuff, and Asusa to help us ramp if we need to. I'll keep. I don't think I can mulligan this hand. Even if he like thoughts uses me on one, like we still have we have two one mana dig spells. He's probably just playing a Delver. Serum Visions. Oh, it's never a Serum Visions. Growth Chamber, sweet. All right, so let's. Uh, I'm gonna Ancient Strains here. Because if I find an amulet, then I can... Oh, I can't tighten on two. So maybe I just see visions instead. Yeah, I'm going to see visions instead. Ooh, Chalice and Summer Bloom? Oh, baby. So next turn I can Summer Bloom. And then ramp into being able to Pact. I think drawing the chalice is probably fine too. Yeah, I'll just draw both of them. Flipped it with a bolt. Man, they always just blind flip. Every time. <laughs> All right. All right, so here I think that I'm going to... Summer Bloom and just hope that he doesn't have a counter. And I'm gonna cavern. I'm gonna bloom with the cavern. I'm gonna name Human on the cavern. Is that right? Maybe I take one out of this confluence. No, I'm gonna cavern. And hopefully it resolves. So he has Bolt and four cards. So we had Delver counterspell both times. Sweet. Alright, so I think this is going to be a little bit of a grindy game. I mean, he's got them basic lands. If he Blood Moons me, this is going to be real gross. I didn't expect Blood Moon out of these decks, but I guess he could just have it. Bolt and three cards. Alright, maybe I just ch chalice on one here. And then growth chamber back the cavern. Could play the Asusa, but he has a a bolt. Maybe I stirrings first, and then chalice on one. I'm expecting this chalice to get countered, so. Let's just do that. He made his Boltman response and, and let it happen. All 
Alright, we still need to find some way to handle this insectile aberration. A pyroclasm would be nice. Susa. I'll play a gemstone mine. I have one land drop remaining, so we'll play a Vesuva, copying the growth chamber and bounce the cavern. Now, if the Summoner's Pact gets to resolve, then we, uh, we'll be in business. Yeah, we're at, uh, we're at five. Well, uh, okay, so. All right, so if the Summoner's Pact resolves, So we can just play a Hornet Queen here. It's an insect. All right, we got a Hornet Queen. Have to pay for our pact next turn. Hopefully his hand is just like mono ones and hopefully we don't draw any more ones because that would be nice. I think I get to play another land here. Yeah. Would have been nice had the last land that I had was a bounce land. Oh man, he could have traded off here. Oh, we drew another Summoner's Pact. Could he have another Mana Leak? Because I could Pact for a Thrag Tusk here. I can't cast it, though. I'll just wait. Can I attack with any of my Insects? I think I can attack with two Insects here. That way I still have two blockers. A bounce land would be great. Too bad I can't cast his ancient stirrings with this chalice in play, but oh well. 
He also could just like col have a Coligan's command, which could be awkward since it'll like kill my chalice and do two damage to me, and then I'm dead to a bolt. So yeah, a bounce land next turn would be great. And then he doesn't kill my Asusa, because then we could just bounce land, pact, cabin on beast, play the Threg Tusk. Let's make sure Threg Tusk is a beast. Pretty sure he is. Beast, obey me. These games have been interesting. Like he's, both games, he's played a Delve Run one and then flipped it, and we've battled. He played a Delve Run on, on one, flipped it, and countered my Summer Bloom on two, and we still battled. I guess I should have attacked with the Hornet Queen and not an Insect. I don't want to trade off my Asusa for a Snapcaster Mage. Because I want to be able to bounce this cavern and then replay it. Alright, let's declare blockers. I guess I'll Get rid of this Hornet Queen. The murderous cut, my Hornet Queen. Alright, so he's leaving two mana up. Serum Visions. Right, well, I can't attack with these insects. I will attack with this Asusa. I also could just Summoner's Pact and force him to use a mana leak. Well, does a mana leak even counter one, two, three, four? Uh, a mana leak doesn't even counter a, a, a goy or a, a thrag tusk. Summoner's Pact is a good card. I guess I could have done this before I attacked. That way if this gets in play then I can... Oh no, this has fly and I gotta keep both insects back. Let me just have a remand. For our pact, we drew a land. I think I attack with this Thrag Tusk and an insect, and and both insects actually.
just gonna go to five. All right. Let's play another land. All right. Well, we won that one. Uh, we had a bounce land coming. More ones. Well, well sweet. Uh, we won round one. Uh, get to wait a little bit, and we'll battle round two.